Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for the uh, phosphate ion. So here we go. The uh, phosphate ion, it's got a PO4 with a minus 3 charge, which is going to give us uh, 5 valence electrons from the phosphorus, plus uh, 4 oxygens, each with 6 valence electrons, plus 3 more electrons because of the minus 3 charge, for a total of 32 valence electrons okay so let's go ahead and subtract out the largest multiple of 8 which is 32 which gives us 0 and since 8 since 32 is equal to 8 times 4 that means that this shape this structure is going to be an AX4 structure meaning that, that there is one central atom surrounded by four peripheral atoms and no non-bonding electron pairs okay so let's go ahead and uh, start to draw this structure we have the uh, phosphorus in the center, surrounded by the four oxygens. Two, three, four. And we can go ahead and uh, sing single bond all of them, all of the oxygens to the uh, phosphorus in the center. And then let's go ahead and fill in the octet for each oxygen. All right. Now we can also go ahead and um, add in the bracket because this is an ion. So you got to put a bracket around it. Put the charge in the corner, okay? So this looks to be right, but if you were to check the uh, formal charges, you're, you're going to have a bunch of plus and minus ones, and you want to have as many zeros for each of these um, atoms as possible. So what we're going to end up doing is moving one of these non-bonding pairs on one oxygen to form a single, uh, one double bond to the phosphorus, okay? Now let's go ahead and check the formal charges now, and then we'll see where we're at. So uh, the formal charge on the um, phosphorus is going to be five valence brought in minus one, two, three, four, five bonds minus zero non-bonding electrons for a formal charge of zero, okay? The uh, formal charge on, let's say the oxygen's with a single bond, O sub one, okay? O sub one, so it's gonna be this one, this one, and this one. That's going to be uh, six valence brought in for each one, minus one, 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 uh, one bond for each, minus two, four, six non-bonding electrons for each oxygen for a formal charge of minus one. And then remember, multiply that times three because there are three of those oxygens with a single bond. And now we can do the uh, formal charge of the oxygen with a double bond, O sub two, so this oxygen right here. And that is going to be the six valence brought in minus one, two bonds, minus one, two, three, four non-bonding electrons, and that is going to give us a formal charge of zero. Okay, so let's sum all these up. That gives you minus three, which matches up, which is what we're looking for, because that the total formal charge is supposed to match up with the formal charge or the, the the charge on the uh, ion. Okay. So now if you notice, we just chose randomly this one oxygen to have the double bond, where it could have been any of these other four ox or three other oxygens, okay? So that's going to lead you to uh, having resonance structures. I'm not going to draw them because it's going to waste your time to see that. But basically, you have this structure drawn four times, each one having one of the oxygens, but a different oxygen having the double bond each time, okay? Now we can talk about the shape of this uh, structure. It is going to be, because it's AX4, that means tetrahedral. Okay, tetrahedral shape, shape, and when you have that shape, the uh, bond angles are going to be approximately 109.5 degrees. Okay, um, in terms of hybridization, if you're looking at the phosphorus as the central atom, one, two, three, four um, bonding sites or electron groups, so that means that this is going to have sp3 hybridization. So you have 1s and 3p's, so that's four orbitals for four different uh, bonding sites or electron groups. Okay, so those ha need, need to match up. And then in terms of uh, polarity, because these are all oxygens, they're all the same kind of atom, all of their dipole moments will cancel out, meaning that this is a non-polar compound. Okay, uh, that's pretty much it for this one. If you have any questions, let me know. And uh, thank you for watching.